The life of a can't done woman. You can't done a one fool fool boy. By the time you go so, you're done. Woman can't go whole night. And if you fire two shots, you're good. If you fire three shots, you're lucky. Can most man can't go three shots? Lord God. Tell me no one no thing Don't trouble me up in here today. Our father's dear. His father dear. I got somebody say word. Somebody say word. Yeah, go on like you can't do no man with your old rusty body. You could have drink all the guineas you want. Rub all the grubber you want. All the weed you want. All the trunk back you want. All the Hennessy you are, all the rough you are, all the obstacles you want, the up, that are gonna that go kill you. You can't done woman. Who said that to man can't done? Tell them said that to man can't done. This is a real church, you know. It's a real, real church, this. Amen. And if you don't want a real church, this is not the church for you. Hello. You sent the far folk. They're looking at me funny. Can I talk to somebody? Real man of God. A one burner. Lord of real father stick to them one woman. That's why you're not saying no. Your cross is your. Oh boy, you did it. Me not say that. That's why I get born. Love is so amazing to me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Everybody ought to praise the Lord. But real fathers love their wives. You know how hard a mother has to work? Huh? I have some father, grandfather. And my mama, man. Them love trees. I hardly with you, man. Lord God, you're it again. It's not going to get silent now. I can fix my pants, they're good, yeah? Me. You have some man, everything at the house, then tell them, Mama. Lord God. Well, my mother never cook like that. My mother never press my clothes like that. My mother never used to do that. And my mother didn't do it that way. Well, go marry your mom. Rough riding here today for the fathers, you know. Amen. Far, real fathers don't argue with their woman. Real fathers don't watch your money. You give a woman $10. And every 
every turn she turn, you watch the money. And you check what she spent with the $10. Dollar. And a $10 you give her. She have to stretch it. She have to tie it out. She have to press it. Eh? She have to prove it. She have to go and fast in service with it. And you still are watching money. Any man we watch your money, we watch it. <laughs> Bishop, don't you trouble, Bishop? Come on, real fathers trust their woman, huh? Yes, you don't watch woman. Real man, I watch woman. From where I grew up with the road, we know that. Listen, you see, if a woman, let me tell all of the father them there, and some little man we are call call. Where, where, where are they? Where you there? Where you there? Reach out on it. The woman just tell us that she's there at all now. Where you there? In her whole seal. You know, say she can't <coughs> and still tell us that foolishness. Let me tell you something. If a woman wants to cheat on a man, ain't nothing in the world you can do to stop her. That man thinks that them good enough. You know? But a woman can cheat and you don't know. When you start cheat here now, your phone ring. Ah, uh, hello? Eh? No. Wait, eh? Where's that? So from your, from your answer the phone, see the woman here? Yeah? Because she knows you're not woman here talk to. When you see the woman, when a man call her, oh, yeah, man, yeah, what do you say? You talk, talk up to me. You don't know that man shut up. Oh, that's nice. Love is so amazing. Love is so amazing. So I just want the world to know I love my wife. Yes. And I never cheat on her. Never, ever, ever, ever. And I lead by example. And I expect all the brothers that come to this church to do the same thing. Sometimes, brothers, the grass look greener, but it's not true. You know you have some things that look good, they're not good. Have you ever get a gift in a pretty package? Woo, the gift is so pretty. You can't wait to tear the gift wrap open. I know about you. But uh, when you tear the gift wrap open, you say, I, I this in there? I really this in there? Yes, yeah, some of what you're running down is just like that. So you think you running down something out there that's better than what you have. But it's not good. The Bible said for a man or to love his wife. Come on somebody, talk to me up in here. Don't go running down those who are out there. The Bible used the word who are, I can say that. Don't, don't go running them down. Don't go running down those prostitutes and those Jezebel. As a man of God, you want to stick to your own God. I'm talking to the fathers today. Some of you should be glad I'm saying this. Amen. Because some of these men don't know how to keep their zipper up. Every skirt they see they want. Even in the church. They jump from church to church to church to church to church. Sleep with this sister over here. Break this sister heart. Break that sister here from church to church like a church guinea pig. Yeah, I know about them so I can tell you. Yes, you know how much brothers have promised sisters to get married to them and marry their best friends. Oh, you're not talking to me. You're too quiet. You're very quiet up in here. 
I know of a case of a sister we were brought up in the church. Promised the sister to get married to her and marry somebody else. And to this day, she lost her mind. It licked her head. She went crazy. Yeah. So we can't always come in here and talk about, oh, yes. No, we got to tell you the truth. You see, a bishop job, a bishop is a father. I'm not a pastor, I'm a bishop. Go read Timothy and Titus. I've got to give you sound advice. The fathers have to give the younger one sound advice. And the problem in the church today is that we are producing men with no integrity. How can you be a pastor and sleep with the 13 arrow? You have no integrity. In fact, you should not be a pastor. A man of God that wear the cloth. You hear how quiet it get? The Holy Ghost sanction what I'm saying. Men of God got to be circumspect. When you name the name of Christ, you have to be different. When you say you're following Jesus, you can't be like the world. When you say you're a church boy, be a church boy. People gonna laugh off of you. Yeah. I've been laughed at a lot of times. Before I got married, all my friends teased me. So much I never been on my back. And what I'm do me, from what I'm do me. And see me, I'm still alive. The oil in my back didn't kill me. And being a one burner still don't kill me. Brothers, men, fathers, keep your weaning in your pants. If the woman is not your wife, don't give it to her. I don't care how she want it. Don't give it to her. Lord, you y'all 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 quiet. Y'all quiet. You see, the problem is most pastors are not telling you what me I tell you. No, because they'll sleep with the secretary. I with the people ever go to church. So they're not telling the truth. You know why I can speak so freely? Because I'm sanctified. Oh good God Almighty. You ever wonder why pastors? Don't preach on certain subject and they can't touch it. Say one in church 15 years. I ain't never hear them preach about fornication and adultery. Now them guilty. Can't touch it. Abu Shada Bahaya. Good God Almighty. I could not come to a Father's Day service without telling the fathers to be he holy. But God said, I am holy. God said, I am a jealous God. Love your wife, minister day. I don't care how them does a shake. Does a shake, does a shake, does a... I don't care how them a shake. I don't care how them a mango down there. Mm, don't love your wife. Mango, love your wife. Mango down there. Mm, love your wife. Lord of mercy. Manga, 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 love your wife. Make them go on, manga, manga, love your wife. Manga, the, man, love your wife. Man, love your wife. Man, love your wife. Man, love your wife. Man, Lord have mercy. Man, love your wife. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, you're not talking to me. 
Yeah, oh God Almighty. You never get it? Come back next week. You get next week's service. I love you, I love you. You get it now? I love you, I somebody you only hear what I'm saying and that's what God says funny enough and the more I read the Bible I've never heard God say wife love your husband never he said wife must be subjective and submissive but he never told the wife to love you. But he told you to love her. Can I tell you a secret? If you ever really love your wife, Lord have mercy. You don't need to tell her to be submissive. Oh, come on, somebody. You don't need to tell your wife the Bible said. I quote the scripture. The Bible said. Why are you quoting scripture to her? She already know what the Bible said. Oh Lord have mercy. Real fathers are not one minute men. My love you are. My love you are. My love you are. Somebody need to wipe their face. Real fathers don't go just one minute. Can I talk to somebody up in here? When the woman of God come to church and worship and work up all that sweat. Oh, come on, talk to me up in here. And you're a father? Lord have mercy. She don't want you to look at her and see the sun. <laughs> Talk to me, somebody. Talk to me, somebody. If you're going to love your wife, you got to service your wife. Properly. You see, I'm laying the foundation to the message that I'm going to preach. Everything I'm saying, I'm laying the foundation to go into the message. Oh, come on, somebody. If you ever know how God loved the church. All right, some of you are. Lord, I bishop here now, man. Rasa, yes. Yes, because I have a good wife. And she's not complaining. I give her good service. Lord have mercy. That's why when she come to church, she worship God so good. Oh Lord have mercy. And that's why when I come to church, you ever see me there for it? Oh good God Almighty. Turn your Bible to St. John 3 verse 16. Those of you that don't have no husband, I ain't speaking to you. But at least you know what to look for. I have to teach you. Amen. Let him know that what Bishop says. Real fathers don't feed on soda. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Real fathers don't feed on soda. Real fathers drink them blend up, blend up. Lord have mercy. Real fathers don't feed on syrup. Cause soda will make you turn gelding till you're dead. 
syrup and go make your gelding till you're dead. Lord have mercy. Alright, they're telling me to preach now. Okay, I got to behave myself now. St. John chapter 3 verse 16. I won't go back. Can't go back to the way it used to be. For your presence came and changed me. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be. For your presence came and saved me. Let's go to the word. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor, the unwavering love of a father. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Look at somebody else on the other side and say the unwavering love of a father. I already laid the foundation, so I'm just going to run on. Bow your head, let's pray. Father, we thank you for this word. Thank you for this Father's Day. Bless everybody in the house. In Jesus' name, trust me one more time with your anointing. In Jesus' name, shout. Amen. Amen. So since we already laid the foundation, amen, uh, let's run on. Fathers are not friends. Fathers are not mannequins. Fathers stand with their families. Fathers look out for their families. There is no father that will not die for his family. If you ever reach the place where you will die for your family and your, your kids, you ain't a father. Can I talk to somebody? The unwavering love of a dad never ceases. You can do nothing to shake his love. You can do nothing to change his mind. There are four different degrees of love, but I want to talk about today the agape love. The agape love is the love that has no condition. You can do nothing to benefit or to work for that love. That love is a genuine love. It's a love that doesn't digress. It's a love that carry no heal. It's a love that carry no grudge. It's a love that carry no earth. It's a love that don't carry no malice. It's a love that bear at all things, believe at all things, hope all things, trust all The agape love. The unwavering love of the Father. God's love is so unwavering as the God Father that the good Samaritan is a good example. The prodigal son is a good example. You notice that when the son left home, the father never stopped looking. The father love never win. The father love never went down. The unwavering love of the father. The Bible says that when the son started his way back home, the father kept on looking. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. The Father stood in the gap of the Son. The Father love never diminished. But when the Son that left the house came back, the unwavering love, the unshakable love, the undying love of the Father loved the Son. Oh God, no matter what your family does, as a father, you have to love them. No matter what your children do, you have to love them. No matter what your wife does, you have to love her. 
Y'all, 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 you know you didn't want me to preach this? Oh God, you expected something else? Oh God, the devil is a liar. The unwavering love of the Father. The unwavering love of the Father is not spiteful. Oh God, you have some fathers that love to spite. They spite their wife because they are mama mans. They are little men in big people clothes. But the unwavering love of the Father, that's not how it operates. The unwavering love of the Father doesn't carry no grudge. It doesn't carry no bad mind. It doesn't carry no backbite. Oh God, no matter what your family do, you stand with your family. You work for your family. You provide for your family. You stand with your family. You support your family because your love is unwavering. It's unshakable. It's unmovable. Woman that's in here, until you find a man that will stand with you through good time and in bad time, that's not the man for you. Until you can find a man that will rather give you his bus fear and walk it home, that's not the man for you. For God so loved the world, which is the prime example of the unwavering love of the Father. Oh, Shanda Bahaya. Oh, Shanda Bahaya. The brothers are not saying amen because I'm touching their corn. Oh, glory, the unwavering love of the Father. The unwavering love of the Father supports his family. The unwavering love of the father go into the kitchen and cook sometimes. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. The unwavering love of the father press the clothes sometimes. The unwavering love of the father clean the house sometimes. The unwavering love of the father spread up the bed sometimes. The unwavering love of the father wash back through. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. Everything I'm telling you is what I do. Oh God, and I'm not a mama man, but I'm a real man. Oh good God Almighty. The unwavering love of the Father. Sometimes your woman gonna get tired. Sometimes as a father, you have to bring in the bacon and cook it too. Somebody, I may not bring in the bacon and cook it. Somebody gonna cook your bacon for you. Oh Lord have mercy. Help me up in here. Ain't nobody cooking my bacon up in here. The unwavering love of the father know how to go in the kitchen and look out for breakfast for his family. Oh God. The unwavering love of the father know how to cook you some rice and peas. Some father, some man up in here can't have a boy look water. Lord have mercy. Oh good God Almighty. A uh, real father don't sit down and video game all day. Real fathers are not out with their friend all night. Real fathers mind their picking it. Oh uh, God. Real fathers are not sperm donors. For your house on sperm donor. Ah, uh, they with you while you were looking good. While everything was okay, they with you. But the moment you tell them, say, ah, something is in the belly, them gone. That's not a real father. Talk to me up in here, somebody. A real father love in spite of. Because his love is unwavering. I want to give you four words and I'll get out of your way. Real father, number one, is a governor. He governs his house. When you talk about governor, you speak about government. You speak about order. You speak about authority. You speak about headship. You speak about the one that governs and dominates. He's not a dominator. You understand what I'm saying? But he rules from a pastor of love. So he doesn't discipline you and tell you, you have to do when he said, you have to do. But he governs in a logistical way. He governs and flow the order. It's the one that when he speaks, the house got to listen. 
So really father is the governor. Governor. Where we get government. From which you get the word govern. From which you get the prefix. Or which you get the synonym. Lead. Power. Authority. The voice that speaks in his house. So the father is the governor. He doesn't allow the wife to lead. And the wife to take charge of everything. And him follow like sissy. Governors aren't mama man. Governors aren't wishy-washy. Governors don't wear skirt. Governors wear pants. Can I talk to somebody? Can I talk to some real men up in here? Governors provide for their family. Governors take care of their home. Governors take care of their responsibilities. Governors are usually generals. You must be the general in your house. Can I talk to some real general up in here? Can I talk to some real general up in here? Are you a general in your house? Are you the government in your house? Are you the one that set the laws and the edicts and the principles in your house? And when you set it, your family follow. But the thing about government is that government lead by example. So if you expect your family to fall in line, you got to lead by example as the governor. Come on somebody. Every father must be a governor. A governor find ways to make it happen. One of the things that government is responsible for is policies. So as a father in your house, every house don't work the same way. You have to know the policies that work in your house. Oh, I don't care what go on over that house. I have some policies in this house. Ain't none of my kids sleeping out on no Friday night. Ain't no dirty cartel playing in here because I'm the governor in here. Ain't no dirty six playing in my house because I'm the governor. When you're the government in your house, your kids don't do what they want to do. You have some house where the kids are running the house. Kids tell father what to do, when to do, how to do. You ain't no governor. You're a chichi man. Come on somebody. Government set things straight. Not only, but they have principles. They have guidelines, they have edicts, they have laws, they have typicals. They have rules that are laid out in the house. And everybody in the house got to follow those rules. Your wife can't be a gossiper when you're a governor. Lord have mercy. When you're a real governor, your wife can't be a lazy gal. Uh-oh, rough up in here. It's rough up in here. When you're a governor, your wife of you know cook and wash and clean. Lord have mercy, talk to me. Oh, talk to me up in here. Talk to me up in here, somebody. Talk to me up in here, somebody. Because governor, govern. Well, the father must not only be a governor, but he has to be 
a guider. So a real father not only governs, but he guides. Word guide comes from the word lead or to entreat or to take true gentle. So when you guide, you take true gentle. You entreat. You guide your family. You don't let your family do any and anything. You don't let any and anything happen in your house. You don't let your daughters wear any and any things. You don't make your son trousers come down here. You don't buy certain things for your daughters. You're a guider. You don't play dirty music and watch your daughter and bubble tweet and put it up on Facebook and say, what? Look how she had no good. Oh, you're turning your daughter into a prostitute. Real fathers or guiders. You must govern your house and you must guide your house. When you guide your house, you lead your family. You know why some of you, the woman don't follow you? Because you're not a guider. You're not a governor. No woman don't no follow no jelly back man. No woman don't want no weak back man. You don't know how to make decision. This minute you say something, tomorrow you say nothing, and then the next minute you say, who are you? I can't follow you. You don't know what way you're going. Real woman don't follow nobody that's not going nowhere. Any man who don't know where he's going, he won't know where to take you. Because if you don't know where you're going, where are you going to take me? How are you going to govern the house when we get married? How are you going to guide me to serve the Lord? Real fathers serve God. Real fathers. Now we have no wife to tell them to get up and go to church. Oh, Shanda Bahaya. I know I'm licking some can and I'm busting some head in there today. Real fathers get up early in the morning and say, Family, today is Sunday. We're going to church because I'm guiding my family. Oh God, let me up in here. Real fathers, they guide their family. They say, come on. It's Sunday, we're going to church. Real fathers come to church and shout hallelujah. Real fathers now come to church and sit on and fold them leg and chop them hand. Lord Jesus Christ. Real father speaking a tongue and say, Rabba Baba, Kata Shataya, Ribandele Lebo, Kata Labaho, Ruba Kata Tata Tata, Sheku, Rabba Baba, Rata Tata Tata Tata, Rata Real fathers. God, who is our father head, he leads by example. Everything he does, he do it first. Because God are the general, so he's the governor. God are the general, so he's the guider. You notice? God, nobody can lead God. Because God is a leader. He's the guider. When you're a father, nobody no leader. When you're a father, you're a father, no boy, but no can. The boy can't lead you astray. Come on, somebody. You don't take advice from your mama for your family. I don't need that, son. I'm good. Let the anointing run. Manda Baba Shataya. Real fathers. Don't go back to their mother. I'm going to tell their mother, say them, their wife who not here is good. Come on, somebody. Real man of God. Now go tell them father, say them wife, burn up the chicken. And can't fry plan. I don't know if it boy head. Real fathers. If she can't do it, send her a school to learn. And if you know how to do it, teach her. Can you guide her? Real fathers don't tear down them wife. Real fathers don't criticize them wife. 
watch man love chat them wife. Whoa, yo, yo, yo. I guess I'm here getting in trouble now. I guess I'm here about something now. Real fathers don't chat them wife with people. Everything you care about next door. Everything you tell somebody. Everything you tell somebody. Everything you put up on Facebook. Pray for your wife. Ababa Shandaya. Stop tearing down your wife with your mouth. You are not a father, you're a knife. <sighs> Every turn your wife, turn your jukar and amba. Every turn your wife, turn your stabba. He's a little mama, yeah, yo. Yo, look up, mama, look up, mama, yeah, yo. <sighs> oh, good God, help me up in here. Oh, good God, help me up in here. Stop carrying out real man of God. Don't carry out them house business. Come on, road. Everything I need in your house, you can't come around. But what kind of man you be? Hey, go shut up behind you. You are not a governor. You are not a guide. Everything I'm your child out the road. Oh, good God Almighty. Everybody know your business in your house. The whole community know where you're going to your yard. Oh, good God Almighty. Real man of God. Guide his family. Shanda Bahaya. Lava Bashataya. Undana Lava Shataya. Can I give you number three? Real man of God, cover your family. So you cover your family. You guide your family. And then you cover your family. Real man of God, know how to pray and cover your family. Shanda Bahaya. You can't be a real father. And you don't know how to pray. Go down on your knee and learn how to pray. Put your family before God. Put your wife before God. Put your daughters before God. Put your son before God. Cover your family. Cover your family. Are you a real father? Then cover your family. Don't tear them down. Cover them. Don't shoot them with your mouth. Cover them. La baba kushataya. Undana la basataya. Cover your wife. I cover my family. I cover my kids. I cover my house. I cover my house. Because I'm a governor. I'm a guider. So I have to cover. Real father that cover them family. Don't fight woman. You don't lick woman. You don't put your hand by your wife. And don't kill or upset your bed. Your hand should never lift up. Lord God, the man them not say no amen. The man them look for me now because they're vexing me. Me no business, boy, you dirty boy. I'm telling you the truth. He's a dirty boy. This bishop don't beg friend. Oh, good God Almighty. Real father, you cover. Oh, you think cover your family and I lick your wife. Why? Why, Bishop, you make me get so upset. I want you upset. I want licking your feet. Boy, boy, hey, boy. You hey, boy. Put on your hand, boy. Put on your, put on your hand, boy. The only time your hand must lift up towards your family is when you know, I'm going to give you some sweet love. Whoa. Jesus Christ. The only time your hand must open up for your wife. And when you tell her, say, take it out, go so when I hold you tonight, I go and give you all the world. Jesus Christ, your hand must never lift up unless you cover your wife. Go you lifting up her. Next time you're lifting up your hand, it must drop off. Hey, girl, I'm going to thump in her face. Hey, girl, I'm going to box out your teeth. Hey, girl, I'm going to do this. Hey, you're not a man. Man will love me to man can't fight real man. Since you want to fight, come fight me. Come with me, I'm going to the ring boy. I'm going to see how good you be. Shut the behind Since you want to fight, come with me. Come box me, boy. Hey, boy. Hey boy, hey boy, put on your hand, boy. 
Boy, put on your heart. Real man of God, the people, man. Rock up a shot at you. I don't care what the woman do, she can't dry your heart. Real man of the woman dry them out. When she start talking, just kiss her teeth and walk through the door. Get off the stop chat. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Woman strength of them mouth. And them now stop say something till them joke you. And they know how to joke you. They know what to use and joke you. And as long as you stand up there, they're going to joke you. You're going to get joke, boy. You're going to get joke and the joke are going to make you want to lick. But don't stand up there and take no joke. Walk away from trouble. Real man cover his family. He don't abuse his family. He don't entreat his family. He don't beat his wife. He cover her. Real man, when you cover your wife, you know how to be a good lover. You don't look for your wife and jump, 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 jump on her. You are chicken? Why you don't jump on so? You have a phone? How are you? You don't know how to foreplay. Foreplay. Real fathers know how to foreplay. They know how to caress. They know how to play with her. They know how to bring her on top of the mountain and she got to wait on you up there. Can I talk to some real fathers? Cock chicken does jump on and jump on. Cause as them jump on, they go, oh, 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 I'm dead in the shoe. But real father not dead in the shoe. Real father star shoe. Real father rapper, cut the shot. Oh, God, I feel him, who are you? Who are you? We stay strong. Come on, somebody. Talk to me up in here. I wish I had time to tell you how a father should be. But my time is running out. Lord have mercy. Real father. Our lovers. Miss Alaba Lava. Lava Lava. Girl, I'm gonna make you sweat. Sweat till you can't sweat no more. Turn around every time. Come on, talk to me. I really church this. I really church this. Come on. Can you have some boy, a cock chicken them? Then I know for love. I jump on, jump on, boy, them. I boy, them, I used to have truck and bus. Lord God Almighty. So, them think you're truck and bus, I jump on, jump on. Come on. Real fathers, they pump on. Real fathers, on a long distance to lap. Real father know how to stand up in the saddle and go lap. Real father and a one minute man. Real father and a two second man. But real father stand up in the saddle. Right there in Lord God. You're not talking to me. You're not talking to me. Nothing shaky about the message today. Nothing funny about the message today. Talk to me, somebody. Talk to me, somebody. I wonder if the police are coming here this week. Real fathers. Talk to me, somebody. 
We're talking about the unwavering love of the Father. Come on. For those of you that don't marry yet, I'm teaching you what to look for. For some of them take up your classes. And they build your own classes. You know, so you start to look like classes. So know that you come to church. I got to tell you what to look for. So you don't take up no more classes. You know your life. Oh, good God Almighty. So when I give you the word today, I your application form I give it you. So any boy come in us, give them the form. And if them don't fit in the form, say, oh, bye-bye. Lord Jesus Christ. My time is going, so I got to move on. So we got to be a governor. We got to be a guide. He has to cover. And if he's covering you, he must to be a real counselor. And being a father has to know how to go give good advice. He has to be wise. He has to be knowledgeable. He has to teach his daughter what to look for in a man. So he has to counsel his family. He has to tell his daughter, don't pick up a beater. Don't pick up a what 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 this boy oh liar. Don't pick up a boy when I want to work. When I want to sweat. When I want to sun burn him. When I want him and get rough. Cause him have a girl complex. So a real father is a counselor. He teaches son, don't take up no thief. He counsels his son not to take up no Jezebel. He counsels his family. Lord God, I wish I had time. Real father. If he's a counselor, I get hot. Mr. Brother Grand, the message is hot. Yes, it's hot. I gotta close now. The unwavering love of the Father. A real Father is a governor, a guider, a coverer, a counselor, but he must be a giver. Come on, somebody. Real Father, I feel no forgive. Because you don't want a man with tight. You don't want a boy with a like this. Why have you no figure home and good money? Figure spend by them body and the manicure and pedicure. Fix up your hair and do up yourself and smell good when you come to church and put on new clothes. Real man of God know how to give. Come on somebody. Real father got to give his lies. Good God Almighty, a father got to be a giver. Can I send you home now? So the Bible said for God So love the world Which is our real father For God is the general God is the governor He is the guider He covers us under his blood He counsels us with the world He gave his life for us On the cross So the Bible says That the real father Got to know how to love He got to be a giver he got to give without thinking about it. For God so loved the world. Every father got to love the family. That he will give up his last for them. He go out to work for them. He goes in the field for them. He goes out and give them the best. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever a giver a father can't be mean a father can't be cheap a father can't be stingy but a father must know how to good give good gift for the Bible said that our 
heaven is high. If he knows how to give good gifts, how much more should your earthly father know how to give? So how oh, can you be a father? I you know I let off the money. How oh, can you be a father? I watch the money. How oh, can you be a father? I watch it too. How can you be a father? You got to learn how to give. I give myself away to my family. I give you my love. I give you my hope. I give you my kisses. And I give my wife when she's supposed to get her. I give you. I'm a giver. I'm not a beater. I'm a lover. I'm not a beater. I'm a governor. I'm a guide. I'm a counselor. to two. The unwavering love of the Father. Hiya, Bashanda. Green Father is a governor. Take time with the talking. Green Father, he guides cover which is to protect he counsel which is to entreat and he give the best gift the best gift as a father you could give to your family is yourself you know what happened to most men they think because they work and they give money. They give you a house and they give you clothes and care. That is a most women they don't want that. They need you. They want your attention. They need your time. How many wives in here don't get no attention from their husband. How many wives don't get no time? All the time is spent with a friend. Like a love man. Well, make when you want some, go to your friend like you give it. What are you? You can't say amen, say oh, chick, joke you. <laughs> Some of you come in here for the first time. Never know, say I saw one bishop real. Where, 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 where the bishop, where he come from? You still have real man of God. We're sold out for Jesus. We now sell out the gospel. We're sold out for God. Our heavenly Father showed us the example by becoming the first governor, the first guider, the first coverer, as he covers us with his blood. The first counselor, because he treats us with the word, and the first giver, because he gave himself for us. What a message. The message is so compactful. The words that I gave you, you could go home and study further. Get wider definitions. Every man in 
in here should take those words and apply it to their lives. Don't come here today. Let this Father's Day message fall upon the bench and fall on your head. But go home and practice it. Let it become a part of your life. For those of you who don't get married yet, this is what you must do when you get a wife. For those of you single woman, and this you don't look for. Because some man I look for a cute boy. We're broken, paparized, and can't give you nothing. Can't be give you offering to come to church. But you want a cute man. Cute man, I want a body. Take a ugly man and fix him up. Ugly and weird. Ugly man, I give on. Come on, talk to me, somebody. I'm saying, I'm saying, you don't know. Ugly man, love you to death. Yes. God Almighty. Oh, I'm going to chat to you. Ugly man, watch you. Wash away. Nothing take a wash. God Almighty. Lord, where you are? Where you are? Where you are? Where you are? Never be here now. If I'm talking to you, why don't you shut up and allow me to preach? <laughs> if, if the stone don't hit you, why are you making up so much fuss about it? Huh? And, unless it pinch you. Huh? I'm I, 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 ugly man, you're there with me. No, me didn't ask an answer. Why are you used to them? Oh, Jesus Christ. And that's why. And that's why. What cross is you get? That I know a real ugly man. A cross is that. Real ugly man don't get on. And then don't get no trouble. Yes, and him take care of you. Da, da, I go on time, so I'm not trying to start about the service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's go on time.